Good Sunday morning everybody. A little bit of change from the norm. What I'm actually doing now is, apart from being blinded by the sun, just coming out to the front of the house. And I'm going to have a look at the chimney on the top of our house. That is just zooming into that chimney now. Then. As you can see, that's the chimney coming from our uh, wood burning stove inside. And I don't know if you can see from the video, but what seems to have happened is there used to be a mesh around that. And then that mesh has blown away. Now, what that means is that the birdies can go up there and they fall down the chimney. And occasionally we have to rescue them. Fortunately we've not roasted one yet, which I'm a little bit worried about doing. So we're going to have to go up there and block it off. Only saving grace is it gets hot and it'll frighten them away. But, um, like I said, the birds get in and fall down. And this is what we have to do in the morning. Cue video save. Showing you the chimney. It's obviously the other end of said device. Now this is absolutely fantastic, this, this thing. In winter, we put turn this on. We turn this on, get it going, and that throws out enough heat, but it's not to need any heating in, in this whole house. It's actually it's seven, eight kilowatts. I can't remember. It's seven or eight kilowatts. It's hell of a heat comes off that. It's warm, too warm for this room. So what we have to do is warm up, open up all the window. Sorry, open up all the doors, and get the heat going upstairs, and it heats the whole house. I did make a bit of a mistake with it. What I should have done is plumb that into the central heating system and got it to take the heat away from the fire and get it to warm up the radiators. But wait, that's a different story. But anyway, because the grate's blown off the back, off the top, the birds can get in and get down and they get stuck. And we sit here and we think, what's that noise? And this is the result of what that noise is. Okay, guys, this is what we call experiment get the bird out the fire the chimney it should be a cap on top of the chimney but birds are getting into it and occasionally they get stuck and what we have to do is a little bit of an exercise to get them out we have to open the, open the fire stand in front of the middle window and hope that the bird flies out of either window or it goes the other way and flies out the back so michelle's recording and i'm recording so and the decoy this time, because last time we nearly got Michelle. And there you go, little birdie out the door. Hi guys, we're off up to town now to meet up with Amy and I am going to drive for the first time in a long time so consequently I've got some painkillers just in case Belt and braces, did you pick my coffee up or have you? So, off to town <laughs> guys and here we are now in the uh, Bonacorn Centre yeah. in Aberdeen. Back to do our errands and meet up with Amy.
Okay guys, here we are on School Hill Road in between the St Nicholas Shopping Centre and the Bonner Court. Back of the church. Just walking about running errands. Okay guys, here we are in front of one of the most iconic buildings in Aberdeen, Aberdeen where it's Marshall College which is currently the home to Aberdeen Council. Fine granite building, it's typical of uh, the buildings in Aberdeen and that is one of the names, reasons why this city is called the Granite City, of this type of building, it's beautiful. It just costs a few million pounds to do it up but Nothing wrong with having a bit of pride in your community. Nice coat of arms over the, over the top, I don't know what they mean. I'm going to have to go and look it up. Ask a history buff. And now, we're going to go and have a cappuccino. A cup of coffee. Because you never know, coffee's always, everything's always better with coffee. <laughs> Okay guys, here we are, me and Michelle in Star in, well, in Starbucks and we're about to book some coffee. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're now at the Starbucks and we're going to book some coffee. Okay, let's go. 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 Never heard of it, but go for it, everything down it. Yeah, uh, 940. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, and what, what's the other one? You know, the Savannah. Uh, I can't remember. There's a big one. Well, that's probably it, the Kilimanjaro Safari, isn't it? The one I'm trying to think of, the one where you get in that van and go all the way around. Yeah. See, it just shows my memories getting a bit faint from 2011, the last time that we went. Uh, it's Primeval World. What's that? I don't say Primeval World. It's, it's, a, it's a spinning, sliding, time machine roller coaster. Gotta go for it then, I think I know which one it is. Obviously we're not 100 percent certain what whether we'll need these passes or not, but it's better to have them than not to have them. Because we can always play it by ear when we get there, but if you've got fast passes, at least you plan out your day and you know that you don't have to go on these these rides and try and cram them in on the first day. That's them all. And that's them all but it's That one. Two. So 120 pound and we can have two lamps. It's your new shop, isn't it? Or no? Is it just me not paying attention? Yeah. Alan doesn't pay attention again. What shop is it? Next. It's not near. It's been around a while. Just, just seeing somebody running down there a little bit overdressed for Sunday morning. Obviously, walk of shame. We went home. And here we are now, walking around to Amy's flat. Hi! Look what Michelle did to my hair, isn't it Ace? Couldn't do it myself, so Michelle helped. Biggie tails.
Okay guys, and here we are on the uh, second shopping street in Aberdeen, George Street. We've got uh, two main shopping streets in Aberdeen, one Union Street and one George Street. Union Street's kind of over in that direction. We're running off at 90 degrees, it's George Street. John Lewis is at the other end of Bogner Court. So. <laughs> Hey guys, we've heard a rumour. We've heard a rumour that the Christmas stuff is out in the Disney store. So we're going to go and have a look at the Christmas stuff. You know, I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be the person that locks the Disney store in the morning. What have you found? Poo. No. Okay guys, and here we have some of the, the Christmas stuff is out. We've got Christmas baubles, we've got some very similar to that, the Christmas ornaments. Lighty up tree toppers, which are I believe, I think they're £20. I haven't got my glasses on, so I cannot tell you what they are. I think they're £20, but if you look on the website, you should be able to find out. Advent calendar. Nightmare Before Christmas baubles. Again, £20. I'll try and put them back. Okay, guys, and we've also got awesome stuff. How much are these things? Lock, shock, barrel. How much are they? 12 quid. And Pumpkin King and Zero, and it lights up. Spider Man. He's not very Christmassy. No, but he's around for Christmas as well. He's just, it's like Batman, it's not just for Christmas. Okay. And we've got some Marvel ones as well. And Star Wars, that's obviously not. Star Wars, Marvel, and the obligatory Mickey ears. How much are they? Each. So, I think... You've got the big snowman dude. Uh, big Hero 6. Yeah, the big snowman dude from Big Hero 6. The one they can't bend down and pick footballs up. Oh, look, Mickey Stockings. My first Christmas. It isn't my first Christmas, but I act, I act like it always is. Because I love Christmas. Oh, Mickey Christmas Carol. How much is Mickey Christmas Carol? I need my glasses because I can't see the prices. Thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. Not too bad. Jack Skellington Santa Claus. What's that? Christmas present sacks. How much are them? Twenty quid. See, I think we're getting a theme here. Everything's twenty pound. Which do you prefer, the Jack Skellington and his? Stripy suit or the Jack Skeleton with these? Stripy suit? Stripy suit. Because everybody knows the pumpkin cake is not Santa. It's all what happened when you well, tried to that put me in my place. Take it over here. 2016 snow globe. Oh, the puns will just appear. Who? Tigger. Tigger. Tigger, for all of you who don't know, is my favourite Disney character. Because the wonderful thing about Tiggers is... Tiggers are wonderful things. And these the only one. The tops are made out of rubber, the bombs are made out of spring. They're fancy, 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 fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is... He's, he's the, the only one. one. And so is he, and so is he, and so is he. Been in town for what, an hour and a half? And it costs you £3.50 on the Lock Street car park. But, to be quite honest, there's no way you can park in Aberdeen for nothing anyway. Now this is usually a pretty good car park, but the refurbishing, there's two decks used up, so you can't actually get on it. 
Uh, parking is definitely a problem in Aberdeen. There's a definite shortage of parking spaces. Yes, there is a definite park shortage of parking spaces. If you come at certain times during the day, you want to be prepared to be driving around town for a while to try and find somewhere to park. Okay guys, that's us back from Aberdeen. And Michelle has decided to watch her favourite Disney film. Alice in Wonderland. Whilst ordering me new sunglasses. Ouch. Yeah, I'm ordering some sunglasses from Amazon for £4.99. Free delivery, polarised, ready for going abroad. Hopefully they'll be alright, as you know, it's a fiver. Not too bad. Hi guys, that's it, that's Sunday night. Michelle went off up to bed about an hour ago. I stayed up to watch another episode of Luke Cage. So I went up to about episode 6 now, or 5, can't remember. But that was our Sunday. So, hope you enjoyed. And with that, Michelle's upstairs, so it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from Michelle upstairs. See you all in the morning. Bye.